I've got it into the, the closet now. It fits really well. It'll be hard to get out of this closet once it's loaded down. I also have four 50 pound weights that I'm gonna set in the bottom. That'll put it at 350 pounds before I put anything in it. But if I wanna move it, I can break it down, just take the weights out in the box. It won't be so bad. I had originally planned on putting my ammunition across here, but just in case someone does get into it, I don't wanna come in the house to my own firearm. So I'm gonna lock the ammunition in a separate metal box inside so it'll be secure but you're gonna have to work a little harder if you you want the ammunition i think the only way to get it out of here i i don't know you're gonna have to tear this wall down and put it on a dolly to get it out of here i chose the greenlee box it has this extra lip so you can't really the way it bear with me here the way it goes down you can't get a bar in here to pry it open because of that lip lip behind it but this is also a lot heavier steel than any of the other boxes that i've looked at there are so many different gun cabinets out there and one of the things about them that i don't like is they look like gun cabinets so if someone does break in if they're looking for our firearms they know right where to go this tray I'm going to use for anything and everything that I have that's firearm related other than ammunition, any of my cleaning supplies, stuff like that. It works, uh, works really well. I'm also going to put every, everything, the gun cleaners, anything that I have that looks firearm related at all, it's going to be locked up in here. If someone does break in or come in i don't want them to even think about firearms that are here i don't want them to see a gun cleaning kit or anything that would start them on the look for firearms so i have everything locked away i don't use them very often once a year twice a year so this is a good option inexpensive option i don't have to have access to it all the time but i want them to be secured if people are over visiting, I don't want them to feel uncomfortable. They see those shotguns stacked in the corner or whatever, uh, just out of out of sight. And just to be responsible, just to keep them locked up. And this is a very heavy box. Also, a gun, a gun safe is a gun safe. There's no way to repurpose it. I can repurpose this if I decide to not own a firearm anymore or to do something different. These boxes always have value, uh, construction, they all want them. The inside dimensions are 47 and a half. The longest firearm I have is 43 inches. It's a hunting rifle and it fits. The case itself is 46 inches and it fits super easy. There is so much room in here. Go on vacation, go on a trip. We have a small fire cabinet I can put in here also. The fire cabinet is just to prevent the papers from getting burnt, but it's easy to pick up and walk away. So there's so much room in here we can just add to it without any trouble um, whatsoever. I chose to use combination locks. There are two, two tabs. They drop right down into here and you can see there's no way to use a bolt cutter or anything to to get that off the locks are way up recessed in there uh, one drawback is you kind of have to lay down on the floor to read the combination and i chose combinations because i didn't want anybody to pick up the key or have access to it um, at all except me i know the combination that's it um there's no reason for anybody else to to know what it is so camouflage is a lot of it. You can stand this up very easily. You'd have to put something under it, a half inch piece of plywood or something because the door is the same width as the cabinet. So especially if you're on carpet, the door would drag. You have to raise it up a little bit. 
The dent it looks like a gun cabinet. I don't want it to look like anything except just an old box. So let me load it up and put everything back in the closet and I'll show you what it looks like after that. Okay, here it is. I simply have a sheet over it. I'm gonna sew the corners where they fit a lot better, where it'll just sit right over it, but it works it works for now. With the clothes and everything in the closet, it is definitely a lot less conspicuous than a big gun cabinet sticking out. And then I'm gonna stack the shoe boxes and stuff like that in front of it where it, hopefully it's just completely, completely invisible. Anyway, it's a great option. You should consider it, at least investigate it, and look at it, because I think it, I think it's way better than the gun cabinets that are available today. Uh, that I can afford compared to what I paid for this. Anyway, I, I bought it Greenlee. It's a model 2448. Um, I paid $300 for it. The Greenlee website itself lists the specifications of it, how tall it is, how long it is, width it is, and where you can buy one if you want to find a Greenlee one near you. I removed all the labels and everything off of mine that say Greenlee. I don't want it to be identified as a tool toolbox, and I relabeled it as something you can use your imagination but uh, I put something on there that maybe people won't be interested in and to break it into anyway give it a shot do a little research I think this is a great alternative thanks for watching